All right. Before I get into my Raptors talk, I want to give props to a couple of fucking players who are just off to phenomenal fucking starts in the NBA. First up, James Harden, Houston Rockets, 11 and 3 start this year. Already James Harden averaging 39 over just over 39 points per fucking game with a true shooting percentage over 60%. Last year Harden was the first player in NBA history to average over 35 points per game with a true shooting percentage over 60. I believe it was like 61.2 or something like that. Uh the first player Michael Jordan in 1986-87 averaged 37.1 points per game with a true shooting percentage which wasn't over 60% like Harden's. So it, that hopefully gives you a comparison. This dude is one of the most prolific offensive players I have ever seen play in my fucking life. The dude can score at will. There's debate over whether he travels, his little hop steps, his little pauses, man. That dude just, the angles he releases the ball from is just fucking crazy. The kid is one of the best offensive talents I've seen in this game. He's been carrying Houston for years. I don't know how far they're going to make it this year. I just want to give a big shout out. James Harden, you are doing phenomenal. You're exciting to watch. You're a great, great fucking offensive player. Bless. Luka Doncic. Oh my goodness, Dallas Mavericks. Let me read these for a second. No player 20 years of age or less has scored, has averaged more points per game than Luka. No player 20 years old or younger has averaged more assists per game than Doncic. Only three players have averaged more rebounds per game at 20 years of age or less than Luka Doncic. Those players, Shaquille O'Neal, Dwight Howard, and Andre Drummond. And when you talk rebounding, there's not many in the last 25 years, 30 years, that you can talk about more than them players. He recorded, he became the second youngest player to record a 40-point triple-double. LeBron James being the only other player to do it at 20 years, 100 days. Luke is like 20 years, 300 and something days old. He had, what, 40, I wrote it down somewhere. Let me see exactly. He had 42 points, 11 rebounds, 12 assists. LeBron, when he was 20, had a 40 point, 10 rebound, 10 assist game. The kid is phenomenal. He was great last year, amazing this year. The kid is for real. The sky's the limit for him. Dallas, you found a real fucking superstar in Doncic. Hopefully it carries on for you guys, and wow, I can't believe I'm actually going to enjoy watching a team from Dallas. Now, Toronto Raptors, oh my goodness, their defense is fucking unbelievable. This is phenomenal. Now, I had them ranked third in my Eastern Conference preseason rankings, but wow, I did not realize how good Nick Nurse would have this team playing defensively. It doesn't matter who's gone out. Kawhi, gone, Raptors are done. Danny Green, gone, Raptors are done. Oh no, Lowry's injured this year, Raptors done. Ibaka's injured this year, Raptors done. No, they just keep on fucking winning and they're playing good fucking teams. They just went on a really fucking hard five game road trip that included back to back games. Might not have been any travel, but I don't care. Look at anybody's preseason pro prognostications anybody's rankings of these teams clippers lakers are usually one two in everybody's opinion this year in the nba and the raptors went in there they handed the lakers a loss they not only did that but they're keeping scores like lebron to 12 points Kawhi to 10 12 points they're shutting down the other team's top performers even damian lilliard mccollum they couldn't really go off against them when they played in portland the, the raptors d is phenomenal og ananobi my goodness, this kid is having a coming out party this year. He's just got to do something like he, he needs a fucking Iron Man mask or something. With the amount of times this kid's been poked in the fucking eye, elbowed in the fucking eye against Charlotte last night. Just fucking crazy. And the most baffling is thing is to me is how is there no fucking call on either fucking play? Bleeding and down on the one, an elbow to the fucking eye on the other. How do these get not seen? How many fucking refs are turning their backs on these fucking plays? 
I get the NBA officiate. I'm going to do a fucking sports refing rant very soon. I've been telling a couple people, a couple friends of mine, I would do it a, uh, about a week or two ago. I still haven't forgot about it. I'm going to do it, and it just fucking baffles me how those two plays didn't get a call on them. But to carry on, Hollis Jefferson, man, the, the kid, ever since Nurse called him out, the kid is just playing phenomenal basketball, both ends of the court. The Raps had, what, five more players in double figures in scoring last night. Freddie V, and it and it's not hard to figure out why Terrence Davis and Hollis Jefferson and all the newcomers, Matty T, Matt Thomas, why, why they're all playing so well and so hard is because the players the Raptors have carried over, Siakam, Freddie V, Lowry, Ibaka, and even Gasol, who's not the swiftest or the most athletic person, they lead by fucking example. They don't have to go off running their mouths. They learned one thing from Kawhi. The, the, the biggest thing they learned from Kawhi last year was poise. Poise. How to handle yourself when things are good. How to handle yourself when things are down. How to handle things in any situation and keep a level head and not get too emotional. So you can carry on and get the job done. Do the things you need to do. <coughs> Excuse me. But it goes right on down the list. Boucher, another young kid. He, he re, He's kind of like a, a combination of an OG and a Siakam to me. Another great way the Raptors are showing that their system, their management, their organization is top-notch in the NBA. A lot of NBA teams would love to have their the organizational fortitude that the Raptors have, especially led by Masai Ujiri. You hear more rumors that the Knicks are going to try and pay him more than the $10 million that Washington offered him. I don't give a fuck. He does not want to go and work with Dolan. The Raptors continue this on, continue down the stretch. It's a lot of fun to watch. Indiana's playing well. The Heat are playing well. The Celts are playing well. Love how the Celts are playing without Kyrie Irving. Fuck, I hate that guy as a basketball player. Actually, no, I like him as a basketball player. Comes across the wrong way to me in the media, and it just drives me fucking nuts. So I'm glad that Boston's getting on track. Sixers, man. Wow. Uh, all that length, all that ability. How are you guys not dominating, especially defensively this year? Too many games where you're giving up way too many points. But anyways, I just want to talk a bit about the Raptors and how well they played defensively this year because the defense has been just outstanding, phenomenal. And what wins championships in every sport, I don't care how fucking great offenses are during the regular season, in the championships, and the playoff runs, the teams that show up on the defensive end, do enough defensively, end up with titles and rings. Peace.